Okay, so we're here to show you how the Winkler Roundtree watering system works. Um, with the visible portion of it is just this tube in the ground that, that waters the roots, waters the tap root of a deep tree, a, a, a tree with deep roots like this. This is a maple tree. Um, just to show you what the system can do, um, you're not able to see the other end of the system, but this one, I will show you that this about four gallons of water goes directly into the system, and if it wasn't for me spilling a little bit, uh, none of it would be wasted on the surface. And it all goes right into the whole system. Again, the only part, portion of it that you can see is this little piece of um, four inch uh, non-perforated drain tile. Four gallons goes in there, and all of that goes to directly uh, water this tree. Um, I just have some yellow things in there so you can see the water level going down. This tree's been in the ground um, approximately one year, um, and it's grown probably about two and a half feet in that time um, with the watering system in place. Um, if we go over here and take a look, um, I can show you a couple other trees that water. An even more dramatic um, grill. Again, this bucket is about four gallons. It looks a little bit shorter than that, but I've measured it and it's actually around just a little under four gallons. Um, so it's a good indicator of uh, what the system takes. Um, every week or so during the summer by watering the trees uh, four gallons directly um, is much more effective than trying to water out the ground and all of it goes directly uh, to the root of the tree. Um, and I've done this for a couple trees for the last four or five years and I've finally gotten to the point where I've perfected the process um, where we add the check valve that is kind of the working uh, portion of the underground system. Um, and you can't really see that unless you install one of them. Um, but I also have a, a small PowerPoint that I can show at the end of the video that will demonstrate that. Um, these arborvitaes that I have planted on this side of my lawn, there are uh, 19 of them here. Um, and these are your standard um, um, Thuja um, pyramidal arborvitaes that you get from Menards. Actually, I got these at Menards for about $20 a piece. They're, they start out at between five and six feet tall, um, which uh, most of them are right at about five feet here. This one's a little bit easier to see. Um, and they've grown probably about a foot since I put them in the ground. And they've been in the ground um, only a couple of months. Um, here's one of the watering systems at the base of it. Again, I just put the water in here. And I, usually I do this with a hose, but I'm just showing you how it works um, with the tail so you can see how the water goes directly uh, to the root and makes these trees grow just ridiculously fast. Now these trees are a little bit... Um, planted uh, just recently so maybe the system doesn't take quite as much water as quickly and it's also not quite as tall. Um, it was pretty muddy when I put these trees in. So. How deep so, is the tube? The tube goes in the ground around two feet. Um, for some of the deeper taproot trees, from the larger ones they go into the ground about two and a half and for the maples they're always at least two feet. Is it just straight down? Um, it's straight down and hook, it's hooked to the rest of the watering system and then the valve is at the bottom of the four inch tube. Um, but again, these trees planted uh, this spring and today is July 1st. Um, so they've been in the ground uh, April, May and June. So about the last 90 days they've grown about a foot. Um, coincidentally, I planted some of them um, four years ago without the watering system in place. Um, and I have those over here in the corner of the yard. Um, and these trees have just started recently to grow a little bit. Um, these are the same trees. They've been in the ground um, five years without the watering system. So you can see the growth basically that those trees have had um, in the matter of one year. It took these trees four or five years because the soil here is somewhat uh, heavy and uh, clay gets very dry in the summer and very hard. Um, not optimal at all for a cedar. Um, the system is going to be very economical per, um, per tree. It depends, uh, it's very cost, um, quantity uh, sensitive.
sensitive. So depending on how many trees you're going to plant will determine how much it's going to cost for the system. Um, but the system is also able to be linked together so that you could hook a ground, uh, a drip system together and water all your trees just by turning on the valve. Or if you had a timer on a valve, you could water the trees once a week even while you're gone. Um, so to show you some of the other trees that I've done, this uh, uh, few earlier prototypes on, I've done it with my apple trees in a couple of places. And uh, they've done pretty well. Um, we had a couple of dry years, actually. Um, 2012 was a very dry year, and I almost lost a few trees, but thanks to the system, I didn't lose any of my trees. As you can see, some of my new, newer maples are down there that might be hard to see because of the sun. But probably my big, biggest success story is uh, over here, where I have my um, really beautiful autumn blaze. Um, that I planted in 2011 um, and planted it myself. It's kind of a heavy tree because it was a bald root tree, but I brought it in and I used the tube. Actually, you can see the tube is barely visible anymore because it's not used now because I very rarely have to water this tree. As you can see by the size of it, you know, it's, that's how big it's gotten since I planted it in the last four years. And we had a, a few really dry years. 2012 was kind of a drought year, and the tree looked pretty bad after that. Uh, the next year, I just did some strategic pruning and then used the watering system, and it came right back to life, and it's been doing really well since then. Where did you get the idea to um, do this? The um, deep, deep root pipe watering system, the basic idea is something that they do in the desert. Uh, where water restraints mean that you can't water a tree very often. But I was just frustrated with trying to water my trees. And watering on the surface made the grass really green, but didn't do a whole lot for the tree. And I had to use an awful lot of water. Um, kind of like watering your lawn. So that's why the system is called the Winkler Round Tree Method. Method. It's not a sprinkler, because sprinklers are really ineffective. It's the Winkler. So a little play on words. So that's the story about the Winkler Round Tree System. I'm Mike Winkler. Thanks for watching.